We continue on today with Chapter 8, The Undivided Will of the Sonship. Can you be separated from your identification and be at peace? Dissociation is not a solution, it is a delusion. The delusional believe that truth will assail them, and they do not recognize it because they prefer the delusion. Judging truth is something they do not want. They perceive their illusions, which block knowledge. Help them by offering them your unified mind on their behalf, as I am offering you mine on behalf of yours. Alone we can do nothing, but together our minds fuse into something whose power is far beyond the power of its separate parts. By not being separate, the mind of God is established in ours and as ours. This mind is invincible because it is undivided. The undivided will of the Sonship is the perfect creator, being wholly in the likeness of God, whose will it is. You cannot be exempt from it if you are to understand what it is and what you are. By the belief that your will is separate from mine, you are exempting yourself from the will of God, which is yourself. Yet to heal is still to make whole. Therefore, to heal is to unite with those who are like you, because perceiving this likeness is to recognize the Father. If your perfection is in Him and only in Him, how can you know it without recognizing Him? The recognition of God is the recognition of yourself. There is no separation of God and His creation. You will realize this when you understand that there is no separation between your will and mine. Let the love of God shine upon you by your acceptance of me. My reality is yours and His. By joining your mind with mine, you are signifying your awareness that the will of God is one. God's oneness and ours are not separate because His oneness encompasses ours. To join with me is to restore His power to you because we are sharing it. I offer you only the recognition of His power in you, but in that lies all truth. As we unite, we unite with Him. Glory be to the union of God and His holy sons. All glory lies in them because they are united. The miracles we do bear witness to the will of the Father for His Son and to our joy in uniting with His will for us. When you unite with me, you are uniting without the ego because I have renounced the ego in myself and therefore cannot unite with yours. Our union is therefore the way to renounce the ego in you. The truth in both of us is beyond the ego. Our success in transcending the ego is guaranteed by God, and I share this confidence for both of us and all of us. I bring God's peace back to all His children because I received it of Him for us all. Nothing can prevail against our united wills because nothing can prevail against God's. Would you know the will of God for you? Ask it of me who know it for you and you will find it. I will deny you nothing as God denies me nothing. Ours is simply the journey back to God, who is our home. Whenever fear intrudes anywhere along the road to peace, it is because the ego has attempted to join the journey with us and cannot do so. Sensing defeat and angered by it, the ego regards itself as rejected and becomes retaliative. You are invulnerable to its retaliation because I am with you. On this journey you have chosen me as your companion instead of the ego. Do not attempt to hold on to both 
or you will try to go in different directions and will lose the way. The ego's way is not mine, but it is also not yours. The Holy Spirit has one direction for all minds, and the one he taught me is yours. Let us not lose sight of his direction through illusions, for only illusions of another direction can obscure the one for which God's voice speaks in all of us. Never accord the ego the power to interfere with the journey. It has none, because the journey is the way to what is true. Leave all illusions behind and reach beyond all attempts of the ego to hold you back. I go before you because I am beyond the ego. Reach therefore for my hand because you want to transcend the ego. My strength will never be wanting. And if you choose to share it, you will do so. I give it willingly and gladly, because I need you as much as you need me. And from the workbook. Lesson 60. These ideas are for today's review. God is the love in which I forgive. God does not forgive because he has never condemned. The blameless cannot blame, and those who have accepted their innocence see nothing to forgive. Yet forgiveness is the means by which I will recognize my innocence. It is the reflection of God's love on earth. It will bring me near enough to heaven that the love of God can reach down to me and raise me up to him. God is the strength in which I trust. It is not my own strength through which I forgive. It is through the strength of God in me which I am remembering as I forgive. As I begin to see I recognize his reflection on earth. I forgive all things because I feel the stirring of his strength in me, and I begin to remember the love I chose to forget, but which has not forgotten me. There is nothing to fear. How safe the world will look to me when I can see it. It will not look anything like what I imagine I see now. Everyone and everything I see will lean toward me to bless me. I will recognize in everyone my dearest friend. What could there be to fear in a world that I have forgiven and that has forgiven me? God's voice speaks to me all through the day. There is not a moment in which God's voice ceases to call on my forgiveness to save me. There is not a moment in which his voice fails to direct my thoughts, guide my actions, and lead my feet. I am walking steadily on toward truth. There is nowhere else I can go, because God's voice is the only voice and the only guide that has been given to his son. I am sustained by the love of God. As I listen to God's voice, I am sustained by his love. As I open my eyes, his love lights up the world for me to see. As I forgive, his love reminds me that his son is sinless. And as I look upon the world with the vision he has given me, I remember that I am his son. So today, we open our hearts, our minds, to the undivided will of the sonship.
Today we offer unity of mind to all our brothers and sisters, offering it and receiving it ourselves, offering and receiving it in the name of Christ. Alone we can do nothing, but together our minds fuse into something whose power is far beyond the power of its separate parts. This mind is invincible because it is undivided. The undivided will of the Sonship is the perfect creator, being holy in the likeness of God, whose will it is. Today we accept this will. The recognition of God is the rec recognition of our Self as the Christ. There is no separation of God and His creation. God's oneness and ours are not separate because His oneness encompasses ours. Our union is therefore the way to renounce the ego except the Christ, to know the will of God is my will, that God is our home, God is our source. We cannot see apart from God. We will see another world when it is our desire to truly see. We are reminded of this today as we review these precious ideas. God is the love in which I forgive. God is the strength in which I trust. There is nothing to fear. God's voice speaks to me all through the day. I am sustained by the love of God. Amen. Oh,